Behind us, of course, I'm very grateful that they prepared this beautiful uh, tarpaulin, uh, like a big uh, greeting card uh, for the 20th wedding anniversary. So, uh, uh, Jake here is a good friend of mine that we met a uh, few weeks ago. Uh, I will give him the honor to uh, relate how we were connected in the last couple of weeks. Uh, Jake, Jake, Jake. Good afternoon, um, ladies and gentlemen. And um, in addition to what uh, Dr. Uh, Elacleto Melendez uh, relayed, no? I'm, actually I met uh, Dr. Melendez through uh, one of the um, nominators, uh, Ariel um, Gutierrez. Uh, uh, and I found out that uh, he sent me the by data, and I really found out that, uh, that this by data is really impressive. Is the founding chairman, a civic leader, and humanitarian uh, uh, and uh, a medical professional at, at the um, Beautiful Heart Foundation. It's been the Philippines uh, back and forth for, uh, for the past several years, but he was born in the Philippines and married to a nurse, right? Yeah. And uh, it's Balikta de. He plans to uh, stay for good in the Philippines and serving the uh, Filipino people. He's been, he's been to Africa and some other countries doing humanitarian civic works, but of all the countries in the world, he's, he's uh, really inclined to serve his own fellow men in the Philippines. And through the Brothers, uh, Brother Brothers Foundation, uh, he has been uh, providing medicine and medical supplies I would like to uh, everybody to give a round of applause and congratulations to Dr. Alberto Melendez. He's being honored as the Ngal Nambayan Awardee, but unfortunately, 
he will be out of the Philippines by uh, after the after the 15th of this month, January. Uh, the awarding will be on February 27, which he cannot uh, accept. And his foundation, the Beautiful Heart Foundation, is being honored as the as outstanding um, civic organization as 2013 uh, Global Excellence Award by the Asia Pacific Awards Council. Again, congratulations to the Beautiful Heart Foundation. Let's give another big round of applause. May I call on our and perhaps uh, Ms. Janet, um, yes. Seven trusts of the Beautiful Heart Foundation, a little bit of the history of the foundation. In fact, we are very active in Facebook. You can even like us on Facebook, Beautiful Heart Foundation. Uh, we have a beautiful website, two websites actually. One is uh, www.bhfi, standing for Beautiful Heart Foundation Incorporated. That webs com and the recent website is beautifulheart.net. Now, uh, uh, the Beautiful Heart Foundation has been established almost eight years ago, to be exact, December 19, 2005, uh, in honor of our ailing mother at that time, whose name is Corazon Milieza. And Corazon Milieza is the uh, Spanish translation for beautiful heart. Uh, during that time, uh, she was about 80 years old and we formally launched the foundation sometime February 5, 2006 on her 80th birthday. Now, two years later, on uh, December 20, 2008, she passed away. But even then, before she passed away, she was joining me in a wheelchair while I was conducting medical missions in Davao, Cotabato, Sarangani. So it, it, this is my mother's dream before she passed away, to come up with a foundation. Not necessarily in her honor, but uh, my mother is an example of a woman with a beautiful heart. Uh, I grew up with a mother who's very charitable, the 70s, she was helping the evacuees in our hometown in Pekin uh, during the Muslim Christian conflict in the 70s. And even in her uh, travels to the United States in the 90s, she has been soliciting support uh, to help our Kababayan. So that is the history of the Beautiful Heart Foundation, why I established that. It is honor of our mother whose name is Corazon Milieza, that is the just Spanish translation of Beautiful Heart. Now uh, I think we have the praise, so we will cut off our our uh, conversation here, our interaction, and we will pave the way for the start of Thanksgiving Mass. Uh, this is a uh, Thanksgiving Mass uh, for our uh, 20th wedding anniversary. My wife and I met in a charitable uh, clinic, Divine Mercy Charity Clinic, way back in January 1991. And uh, she went to the United States in October 1991. We were just lovers then. I followed her in the United States, August of 1992. We first got married civilly in, in uh, Reno, Nevada, uh, June. Uh, 14, 1993, since she was a devout Roman Catholic, even though we were legally married, we never had sex until we had that night after our wedding on uh, January 4, 
1994. So I got a bird teeth on the on the night of our wedding. Very good. And now we're celebrating a very beautiful evening. Uh huh. We're having a party in the doctor. Of course, uh, we were married. I think in the morning of June of January 4, 1994, in the Sacred Heart Parish in Kamuning, uh, with four priests, four priests uh, uh, celebrating the uh, the uh, Holy Mass. Um, you can see the picture, and, and that is like a political rally because I had one senator as a sponsor, former Senator Nikki Kusete, and then congressman from Magintanao, I think two mayors, and uh, one secretary of health, one from here. So that was really a political, in a way, it looks like a political wedding of different parties. But uh, what is important is after 20 years, uh, we were blessed by two love, lovable children. I have an 18-year-old son who is a uh, very active uh, student leader at the University of California in Davis, taking up uh, music as pre-med. And I have a daughter who is 14 years old, uh, freshman high school, also very much involved uh, in music. Now, uh, I would also grab this opportunity to welcome another friend uh, when my father is preparing to the mass, uh, brother Monching uh, or Ramon Cortez. So Monching, can you introduce our priest? Yeah, and for to start the mass. Uh, my general, before I introduce you, we will start the mass because father has a mass at 6 o'clock. Just introduce the name of our okay. priest. Our priest, our priest, Father uh, Oni Romanoso from Kang Kang Chantri. Okay, so he is our guest at Priest and Activity of the Lord Parish, Sabara Mayor Bridges, Balkan City. Okay, let's welcome Father Oni. Oni, Oni, Oni. Thank you, Father.
Let's rid of this acknowledged our sins and to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have witnessed sin in my thoughts, on my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do. Through my fall, through my fall, through my most needless fault, the great Mass of Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. The Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Cast your kindly light upon your faithful Lord, we pray, and with the splendor of your glory, set their hearts ever aflame, that they may never cease to acknowledge their Savior, and may truly hold fast to Him, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Peace be seated. reading from the first letter of St. John. Beloved, this is the message you have heard from the beginning. We should love one another. Unlike Cain, who belonged to the evil one and slaughtered his brother. Why did he slaughter him? Because his own works were evil and those of his brother righteous? Do not be amazed if the world hates you. We know that we have passed from death to life because we love our brothers. Whoever does not love remains in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer and you know that no murderer has an eternal life remaining in him. The way we came to love, to know love, was that he laid down his life for us. So we ought to lay down our lives for our brothers. If someone who has, wrong, has worldly means sees a brother in need and refuses him compassion, how can the love of God remain in him? Children, let us love not in word or speech, but in deed and truth. Now this is how we shall know what we belong to the truth and reassure our hearts before him in whatever our hearts will them. For God is greater than our hearts and knows everything. Beloved, if our hearts do not condemn us, we have confidence in God. Responsible Psalm. Let our response be, let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Sing joyfully to the Lord. All you, all your lands, serve the Lord with gladness. Come before Him with joyful song. Response. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Know that the Lord is God. He who made us, His we are, His people, the flock He tends. Response. Let the, all the earth cry out to God in joy. Enter His gates with thanksgiving, His courts with praise. Give thanks to Him, bless His name, response. Let all the earth cry out to God in joy. The Lord is good, 
the Lord whose kindness endures forever and his full faithfulness to all generations responds. Let all the earth cry out to God with joy. Philip found Nathanael and told him, We have found the one about whom Moses wrote in the law, and also the prophets, Jesus, son of Joseph from Nazareth. But Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come from Nazareth? Philip, Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming toward him and said to him, Here is a true child of Israel. There is no duplicity in him. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered and said to him, Before Philip called you, I saw you under the fig tree. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God, you are the King of Israel. Jesus answered and said to him, Do you believe because I told you that I saw you under the fig tree? You will see greater things than this. And he said to him, Amen, Amen, I say to you, you will see the sky open and the angels of God ascending and descending on the sun of man. The Gospel of the Lord. Can you see the Gospel of the We are still in Christmas season. Tomorrow is the end of the Christmas season. The solidity of the epiphany or the manifestation of Jesus to the world as Savior of the world. And our gospel today tells us about this deep experience with Christ. Of course, all of us here have a religious inkling of orientation. But if we go deeper into our relationship with Jesus, we will experience joy, fullness of joy, fullness of peace. Ang joy na ito, yun ba ang kinakantang ang joy to the world that would just come? It is very different from happiness. It's feeling lang na ayaw. Diba? Happy, joy. But the meaning also is very different. Because happiness depends on the external things, external factors. Like when it's not your bonus, because we will be happy 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 is only Jesus and Him. And I, the Lord Jesus, invites us to the today. Come and see. Come and see. If you want to have meaning in your lives, if you want to have joy in your lives, if you want to have fullness and peace, come and see. Come and see. And if you look at the Spirit, 
If we are deep in prayers, especially in the Eucharist, we experience a fullness of joy in our hearts. That the word God gave, but only the Lord can give. We enjoy that it makes a busy Okay, so the Lord, come and see. Come and see. So come and participate in the Eucharist and you will see. Amen. You will experience joy that the word can give. Yeah, for the little tire of us, we want to experience the joy. Amen. And in your community, I believe that, uh, of course, you are in the community, you are new, but of course, you are here because you want to see Jesus. You come, you want to see Jesus. And coming and seeing Jesus means joy. Amen. Joy here and hereafter. Amen. So, with your friends, again, that's what they would like to remind us. Come, see. Please, please, please. As the people chosen by God, let us present, present, present before our Father the needs of the people and our responsibility. God owes us bless our lives. That our pastors called by God to be the fishers of men may face the challenge of renewal by preaching the gospel. Let us pray. God, of course, bless our lives. That missionaries may become effective proclaimers of the gospel by their witness of life. Let us pray. God, of course, bless our lives. That those called by our Lord to His service may respond generously to His call. Let us pray. God, of course, bless our lives. That the Lord may touch the sick, the sorrowing, the troubled, and those who suffer in mind and body. Let us pray to the Lord. God, of course, bless our lives. That our beloved dead may live in the Lord's peace. Let us pray to the Lord. God, of course, bless our Lord God. Make us fit to carry out any task you wish us to do with the strength of Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Give thanks to the Lord of our God. 
It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Father, most holy, for your beloved Son, Jesus Christ, the word for whom you made all thanks, whom you set as our Savior and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin, fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so with the angels and all the saints, we declare your glory, as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, our fountains of all holiness. Make holy the report this is yes, we pray. By sending down your spirit on them like a Jew for so that they become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Before he was given up to death, and entered with me into his passion, he took bread, giving it thanks. He said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given for you. In a similar way, my supper was ended, he took the chalice and giving you thanks, he said the blessing. Gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which we pour out for you and for the many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. bread and bring this cup it will like my death the Lord until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we will be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, the church spread throughout the world and bring her the fullness of charity together with Francis or Pope and Onesimo or Bishop and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the lines of your faith. Have mercy on us all in pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we be married and we go years to eternal life and we praise and glorify you to your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ. of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor assures Almighty Father forever and ever. At the Savior's command and form the divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil, and grant us peace in our day. 
in your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from our anxiety as we wait with the hope for the coming for Savior of our Lord Jesus Christ. May the kingdom of the Father and the glory be yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, leave my peace I live in, my peace I think nothing in. Look not at our sins, but in the faith of the church. And grant us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Yes, over each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. Peace be with you.
from your guide as a slave in many ways. Experience both now and in the future the remedies which you bestow that with the needed solace of things that pass away, they describe with ever deeper trust for things that turn out through Christ our Lord. Before I give the final message, I know that uh, you have also a postulate with the Father. I would like to just uh, share with you also. Uh, I have my website that uh, you can also view. Every day, they take my own gas to the So you have time, so I invite you to visit the website. www.houseofspirituality.com So I will just leave Brother Ramon with my key chain, with my address. Thank you very much. And God bless you. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Go forth the masses and thanks be to God. Good afternoon, everyone. of souls. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Foundation, and of course, on behalf of my family, my wife, Eleanor, and our Excuse children, Sir and David, and Catherine okay. and Anne, we led this. Uh, I would like to thank Father Bondi uh, for this beautiful uh, Did you just participate in Mass, Father? I did. This is just a special Mass, okay? But it's a beautiful special Mass. And of course, I would like to acknowledge and express my gratitude for my brother here, uh, Brother Bunching Cortez for making this a uh, very successful event, especially the Holy Mass. And of course, Brother uh, Jake Nabea and the family, and uh, Brother Marlo and the wife. And later on, we will introduce each one of you. And hopefully, you will show your God given talent in singing, dancing, and eating. <laughs> so, uh, uh, once again, thank you for joining me in this very uh, meaningful occasion. Uh, it brings back memories 20 years ago with the very beautiful Holy Mass in Sacred Heart Parish in Camonin, Quezon City. Uh, and it's just like yesterday, actually. Parakahapon no? And uh, of course, to our singer. I think that song was one of our 
one of our, uh, I think, um, sponsors gave us a CD of the power of love. So, what a coincidence. You sang this beautiful song, Power of Love, and we know that one of the most powerful things in the world is love. Right? In fact, love can move mountains. Right? And I think the Beautiful Heart Foundation is based on the spirit of love and care. Okay, Father, uh, thank you again for your uh, you take care of Father. Yeah, Father, see you later and check your website. Uh, I think for the food, we might as well uh, introduce uh, one by one all the guests and we'll give them the floor to come, to come up and so that uh, we will know you personally and we start from the, uh, a very close and dear sister of mine, uh, Cynthia Pendientes de uh, uh She will introduce herself, her advocacy, and her family especially. Yeah. Uh, we can have it. Tagalog, English, Ilocano, Visaya, whatever you want to express yourselves. No? Uh, we, will, we will make this a very, very casual, informal uh, gathering uh, of, uh, I would call this gathering of men and women with beautiful hearts. No? Uh, so relax, uh, feel free to express any message that you would like to share. Uh, after all, we belong to one congregation and we are, we are in one with the Holy Spirit. We are one with God uh, as, we, as we go out in the world to serve, to serve and God and to be the heart and the hands of God. So let's welcome my dear sister, Cynthia Luwalhati. Let's welcome again uh, Jake Cabella, the founder of the Dangal na Bayan Awards. Uh, he will speak more about uh, that award body and of course his advocacy in the Catholic faith. Uh, he is one of the members or board members of the uh, God the Father. Yeah. Anyway, I will give uh, Brother Jake to elucidate more of what he is doing over the years and what he plans to do in the next couple of 
years. years. Magandang hapon ng bete sa ating sa sisters. Um, earlier nga, um, habang naghihintay tayo ng, uh, ng ISA, we had a, a, a special uh, awards reenactment awarding uh, Dr. Anacleto Melendez. We cannot make it on February 27 at the EAP chapter for the Dangal ng Bayan for Humanitarian uh, kaya aga namin binigyan siya ng parangal and also the uh, be uh, Beautiful Heart Foundation for being conferred the Global Excellence Award as Outstanding Civic Organization by the Asia Pacific. Praise God, Lord God. Papa Jesus, sa pamagitan ng pananimit. So when I was in Hong Kong, uh, 1985, ang nagpakita lang, pinakita lang niya sa akin ng pwede. So, siyempre hindi ko alam ang kanina. Nag-start na siya sa akin sa pagmagigay niya. In short, until 2008, March 28, pinakita na niya sa akin ang kanina. So, yun. Ay, na, na ano po na, na siya lang siya. So, siguro kanya-kanya po ni ANA Daily Day. Bali ba, tayo lang ay talagang sunod lang tayo sa anya at pagiging mabalik sa kapwa kasi pag tayo ay nagigil na ng Holy Spirit hindi tayo ay magiging humble, kind, giver, loving sabi nga, power of love at sa kansay ng Lord so pag wala ka ng love parang lagi tayo ay ano sa kapuhay. Although ako mahihain ako pag hindi ako yung nakausap, hindi na ako inig. Kasi andan yung gaw sa mamaya. Ano yung tayo nito. Pero dahil sa love, kaya andito na rin ako ngayon sa harap nyo, nakapagsalita. At hindi na nangyayang. Although ang ganoon pa rin yung limit. Kasi iba na lang yung limit. So anyway, malaking pasasalamat yung nagkaroon tayo nito Good afternoon, everybody. 
Good afternoon and Congratulations on your 20th year anniversary. They they call me Beck for short, and I am from Jensen. And Doc, I am from Jensen, and my mother is from Pikit. Maybe Cuevas family. Where where where? Masik parenti pa ta? Pa magkolage. Uh, I have eight children and I, I happen to be with the group because of Mr. Ramon. It's uh, a business business. Mga, mga kita -kita sa mall, and eventually, which leads us to this religious activity. And I'm happy because of him. I happen to know every one of you. And we hope, I hope, that we will. Uh, be together with our noble cause for this mission to the Lord. And ang katabi ko is my Mr. Gandang hapon sa lahat. Congratulations pala Doc for your how many years. Thank you, thank you. 20 years. 20 years. Wow. Anyway, I am Ernesto Uy, also from Kotabaha originally. And I married my wife, so sumama na ako sa kanya. We are coming from Palimbang, we go to Shidon and Palimbang, Sukhakutara. After that, we are going to Sato. I am Paisi Jan Sato, so I'm going to be here in Manila. Anyway, I'm happy to see you with you. And si Lili Terry is here because after my reunion with my sisters, we are definitely in Manila. We are in Manila. Birthday ng pamangkin ko. So, nung sinabi niya na you will have a mask, ayun lang yung weakness na sila. Pagka may mask, eh kung pwede, pagka daily mask tayo, whatever. To use the mask. Yung mga niya, kinukuha natin yung vibrations ba? Yung good vibrations na sa mask na kinukuha natin. There is a mask. Ongoing mask. Lahat ng mga angels na dyan din eh. Desperation. Please try to save every little thing you have. So many people around the world waste what they have. Saving a few things will save millions of people around the world. Throwing food away. Causes millions of people to starve Try not to be selfish We should share what we have Lots of poor people need your love and help Let us hang up and save people from starving